Next thing we're going to learn about is the angle between two vectors. So the angle between two vectors is your angle theta, where theta has to be between 0 and pi, so between 0 and 180. Um, and this has to be between the respective standard position vectors. So that means you can't have two angles that are more than 180 apart, 180 degrees apart and still find the angle in between them. Uh, this angle can be found by using the dot product. So if you have two vectors, that are u and v, the way you're going to find your angle between two these two vectors of u and v is you're going to use this formula, cosine theta is equal to the dot product of u and v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Now if we're trying to find theta as your angle, remember we can find get theta by itself if we take the arc cosine of both sides. So I think it's a little bit easier if you maybe want to write this down and I will add, allow you to add it to your formula sheet as theta will be the arc cosine of the dot product of u dot v all divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. There's v. That will give you your angle between your two vectors. Now remember this has to be between 0 and pi, so it can't be um, bigger than 180. So let's find the angle between u and v. So let's say we have our theta is going to be equal to the arc cosine of the dot product of u dot v all over the magnitude of u and the magnitude of v. So we had to find three things. We had to find our dot product of u and v. So this will be 3 comma 0 dot, that's supposed to be a dot, 1 6. So that's going to give us a 3 times a 1, which is 3, plus 0 times 6, which is 0, which is 3. So on top here, we're going to have the arc cosine of 3 over, and we're going to have to find the magnitudes of u and the magnitudes of v. So the magnitude of u is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 0 squared. So we get 9 plus 0 is, carry the 7, 9, which is 3. So we're going to have a 3 down here times, we have to find the magnitude of v. The magnitude of v is the square root of 1 squared plus a 6 squared, which is a 1 plus 36, or it's also known as the square root of 37. Now do not turn that into something nice and pretty like a decimal. Uh, if you notice here, well, your threes will cancel. Sweet. Although you could just plug this into your calculator the way it is. So we're going to find our angle is going to be the arc cosine of 1 over radical 37, which is, let's go to our calculator here, scientific graphing. So let's do the second cosine of 1 divided by the square root of 37. And make sure you cursor outside of that for your parentheses. Hopefully I'm still in degrees. And you get 80.54 degrees. So 80.54 degrees. Now my friends, is how you find the angle between two vectors. You have to find the dot product of your two vectors. Then you have to divide that by the magnitude of each vector and then take the arc cosine of it.